Okay, so here's what we haven't seen. Um, number 13, it says the coordinate 3 has a weight of 2 and the coordinate 8 has a weight of 3, and it wants to know the weighted average. Now, normally I'd say, like, if you haven't seen any something before, see what you can figure out or see if you can figure it out. This is not one of those problems that I think you could figure out. Um, let me explain what it's actually asking for. There's a very simple way to solve these, but I want to explain, like, what you're actually solving for first. So, again, we're finding weighted averages, so just kind of highlight that, weighted average. So, in the question it would say, okay, find the weighted average. So number 13, it says coordinate three has a weight of two and coordinate eight has a weight of three. So here's what this would actually look like. So let's say you have a number line, coordinate three right here, four, five, six, seven, you have coordinate eight right here. It says coordinate three has a weight of two. Like, so imagine like two weights right here. And coordinate eight has a weight of three. So imagine three weights right here. So what it wants to know is like, where's, where does it balance? Where's the balancing point? So the balancing point would be somewhere right here because you have more weight on this side. That's what it's asking for. Um, some of you might be able to just see it or that just makes sense. Some of you might be like, just give me, give me a way to do it. Um, there is an equation. So here is the equation. I'm going to just write it right above here. And so the equation is weighted average, which is W equals sum of the weighted values over sum of the weights. And now you're probably thinking, what do they mean sum of the weighted values? Which is what I want you to be thinking. Okay, so here's what we need to do to solve. We need to multiply the coordinate by the weight here and this coordinate by this weight. So our equation will look like this. Three times two, we're multiplying the coordinate by the weight plus this coordinate by its weight. And then dividing by the sum of the weight. So this one has a weight of two, this has a weight of three. So two plus three. Okay, now we solve, of course, use order of operations, solve what's in the parentheses first. And we hit six. And that's it. Okay, so continuing with the next one. Of course, I'm not going to draw this out. I'm not going to write the equation again. So these actually go really quickly. Number 14, coordinate negative 6 has a weight of 3. So I'm going to multiply these two. And coordinate 2 has a weight of 1. So it would be negative 6 times 3 plus 2 times 1 over the sum of the weights. So I'm going to add 1 plus 3 to get 4. You might be thinking, is this equation on the reference sheet? It is not. But even if it was, like some of the weighted values, I probably wouldn't correlate it to this unless I'd done it before. So it's one of those things, just remember how to set it up. And I think the circles help as well. So we're doing negative 6 times 3, which would be negative 18, plus 2 over 4 equals negative 4. Notice we did get a negative answer. That's okay because it's just like we're the balance point. Okay, number 15. If you're feeling comfortable, go ahead and try to set it up on your own. Let me see if we can get it to focus. 
Okay, 15, go ahead and set it up on your own. Just make sure you set it up right. I have it written up here. Okay, did you get two? Number 16, 1 times 4, 4 times 2, 2 Has anybody looked at 17 yet? Did you figure out how to do it? Yeah. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so 17 it brings in okay, three numbers with three different weights on each number. Um, so as you may have predicted, we're going to do coordinate negative one, a weight of one. Four has a weight of two, and then nine has a weight of two. So this time we're gonna have three multiplication next in here. And then we add up all the weights. One plus two plus two, which would be five. And we get five. Okay, moving over here, number 18. Here, I'll zoom out if you're still on 17. So 18, same thing again. It has three different coordinates with different weights. So we multiply those, multiply these, and then multiply these. 2 times 2 plus 5 times 1 plus 7 times 3. And we'll just divide that by the total weight, which is 2 plus 1 plus 3, which would be 6. If you're working ahead, good for you. Um, I'm just going to continue working on 19. So negative 2 times 1 plus 0 times 1. Did anyone finish number 20 already? You're awesome. Did you get eight? Yep. You're awesome, okay. So finishing up number 20, same process.
you'll be taking the test on School City, which will be on the computer. So you won't actually be able to circle. I just feel like circling helps remember what to do. But hopefully you'll remember what to do, even without the circles. That's it. So that is weighted averages. That was the first lesson we were going to do. So I'm going to 